welcome to lesson number 24. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about a little technique that you can use, which I call when all else fails. Maybe you've done the, done the puzzle, and which is I've done so far, and we've got a lot of numbers, but we've still got some empty cells. And maybe you're in a hurry, or you haven't seen something, and so you want to go quickly. Here's a technique that you could try. You look for a matching pair. Here's a 2-7, uh, here's a 2-5, and here's a 1-5. If you're looking for a matching pair, it's a good idea to try and uh, see if one set of numbers works over another set of numbers. In other words, let's take the 1-5. It could be a 1-5, or it could be a 5-1. We don't know, but one of those combinations is going to be correct. Let's see what happens if I do this. We'll do a 1, 5. We'll put a 1 here and a 5 here and see what happens. This 1 means that this becomes a 7. That 7 means that this becomes a 6. That 6, six means that this becomes a 5. That 6 means that this becomes a 1. That 5 means that this becomes a 6. That 1 means that this becomes a 7. And I see a problem. Problem in River City. Have a look at this. We got a one six seven. We got a one six seven there. That's not going to work. So, because if you go go ahead, you're going to find that one of these numbers are going to be repeated. So let's now try the other way round. We're going to go five one instead. Now, if all your numbers are correct, this should work. So I'm going to raise these now, and let's see what happens when you do it the other way round. Again, it's called if one works then the other way has to work. Okay, here we go. If you've got, we'll start with here, in this case, a 5-1. That 5 means that this should become a 6. Okay, that's not right, is it? This should become a 7. And that should become a 1. Let's see what happens here. 1, 1, 1. 6, that has to be a 6. And this has to be a 5. And that works, 5, 5, 5, yes. Now with that 5, we can look down here. We've got a 5 here, and we have a 5 down here. So this can become a 5. If that's a 5, then this becomes a 2. If that's a 2, we cross out this 2 here, and we have a 5, 7. Okay, now, what else can we see here? 3s, 2s, 2s, 1. Okay, uh, here's a 7. Um, here, and there's a 7 here. 2, 2, this has to be a 2. Therefore, this up here has to be a 7. Okay, if that's a 7, we have to have a 7, one, one of these spots down in here. Now, let's see what else we've got here. That 7 means we cancel this 7. We have a 1, 6 left. I'll just clean that up a bit. And let's look and see what else we've got. We have got, uh, that line is all completed. That's great. Um, in this line here, in this column here, we've got a 7 up here, so that cancels this 7, so that becomes a 9. Let's put him in. Uh, if that 9 is cancelled, therefore this becomes a 1. And this becomes a 9. So far we're going pretty well. Let's see what we can do here. If that is a 9, that's bottom, top, middle, that was working pretty well. Um, let's push on. In this column here we've got a 1 so we don't need to have these ones here so we can eradicate those or eliminate those and they become an underlined pair or a matching pair. Let's push on to see what else we can find. In this row here at the very bottom we've got a 2 there so we can't have a 2 there so therefore we have a 6, 7 in those in that bottom line. No, that'll help us. Because we have a 6, 7 here, this cannot be a 6. It has to be a 1. 
Okay, we now have a one there that fits top, middle, bottom. And uh, we have a two, we know a two has to be up in here. And this is a middle, uh, bottom, top. There's a two already there. So this two goes and this becomes a two. Let's see if that works. Two, two, uh, middle, left, right. It has to go up on the right here. That two seven becomes a two and this becomes a seven. Let's look and see what the ramifications of that is. Well, we've got that row, we've got that row, we've got that row. Well, things are looking much better. That seven eliminates this seven and eliminates this seven, which means we have a six here. If we have a six here, that six eliminates this six, so that becomes a five. If that becomes a five, let's see what happens there. We know that a five has to be eliminated from here, so that becomes a seven. And therefore, this becomes a five. And we can check ourselves all the time using TMB and left, center, right, right, center, left. So we've got all that. Boy, this seven is canceled out this seven, so that becomes a six. And that six cancels out this six, so this becomes a seven. So we've now got two more blocks completed. Let's push on. That seven eliminates this seven, so this becomes a six. That six eliminates this seven, so this becomes a seven because it was a matching pair. And now we're getting, we're getting really going very well here. Um, six, six, we've got this. See, we have a bottom, a middle, and a top. A middle, a, a center, a right, and a left. This has to become a six. So we turn this into a six. Therefore, we can eliminate this six here. So we have a five, nine there. Let's look at the ones just for interest. A one could be there or there. So we can't help on that one yet. But look, I've just suddenly noticed, and this is easy to happen to you. Um, this nine means that that nine has to go, it's this one here. So this becomes a five. If that's a five, right, center, Left, this has to become a five. We know that because the nine's already, we have to get rid of the nine. So that becomes a five. And that's going to give me a clue up here. If I go up here, there's a five there. That becomes a one. Get rid of the five becomes a one. That one means that this becomes a six. And that six means that this becomes a one. I think we're going to do this. This is, good. This is looking good. Let's see now. Why? There's only one left, I think. In this column here, we only have one number left, and it can't be a five because we've got a five there. It has to be the seven, and we have done it. And it's wonderful how you can solve a puzzle just by looking at a matching pair, and either one number or the other number or one combination will work if you've got all the other numbers correct. Wasn't that neat? I'll see you next lesson for another when all else fails. Bye for now.